praise God is good all the time and his mercies endure forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional and uh, welcome. Uh, we've been talking about faith this week and uh, I think a lot of times people uh, that that word is kind of elusive to them but remember we said that faith is the substance so it's tangible it's the substance of things hoped for when you have a hope in your life then you apply your faith and the faith causes it to have substance it's also the evidence of things not seen in other words many times we don't see things how they function how they work because it's spiritual but when you and I operate according to faith we even cause the spiritual beat to be manifest in fact Jesus says thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth uh, that's how it happens. We use our faith and exercise our faith to cause the things of heaven to take place here on earth. Amen. But one thing we need to understand about faith, it's not about how much faith I have, but it's the object of my faith. See, how big is your God? Uh, uh, in other words, uh, well, here, here in Romans chapter 12 and verse, C, uh, verse 3, it says, For I say, through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. So no one has an excuse and says, well, I don't have faith. Mm -hmm. God has given you faith. How do you use that faith? Well, many of us can say, look at a snake and say, uh, that's, I'm afraid of that snake. What you're really saying is, I have faith that that snake can hurt me. And when we think that way, fear begins to operate, not faith. That's how Satan gets a hold of us and causes uh, problems in our life because we operate by fear. We're more worried about what's going to happen rather than go into the Word and find out what God has already done for you and I. So the object of our faith is very important. The Bible says in Mark chapter um, uh, 4, it says, have faith, verse 22, have faith in God. See, it's not faith in my faith. It's not faith in my confession. It's not faith in uh, how long I've been a Christian. It's faith in the God of the Bible. Now, here's the problem. He's given us a measure of faith, but sometimes it seems like we just don't have enough faith to believe. So how do we increase that? Here's how it happens. Again, Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. I got a new Bible, so the pages are sticking together. Romans chapter 10 and verse 17 says, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if at times you think maybe my faith isn't strong enough, I need stronger faith, how do you increase that, that strength of your faith? It's the word of God. It's by hearing the word of God. In other words, I read in here about the God of the Bible and what Jesus Christ did for me and how I fit into his plan, uh, uh, his, his uh, plan for, for this earth. And I find out that he's made me more than a conqueror. He's made me a world, world overcomer. He's made me uh, his righteousness. He's made me the very fragrance of, of God, uh, Christ to God. He's made me all these things that we've talked about the last couple weeks. And see, when I start reading that in the Word, it increases my faith because I find out my God cannot fail. See, it's not faith in me. It's faith in the God of the Bible. And when you read more and more and you get to know his character and his person is his very essence. See, we need to know the essence of God. When you begin to understand um, remember his thoughts are higher than my thoughts his ways are higher than my ways when I begin to think like him and understand his principles and his ways because I've studied the word it increases my faith in him and all things are possible to God and all things are possible to them to the, that believe so let's be men and women of faith let's walk by faith and not by sight and increase our faith by studying his word and knowing what God has promised for you and I hey I love you Jesus loves you Pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.